Two tribes sworn to hate. Their blood-stained bodies left out in the open to rot. Their souls longing for a peace that they failed to find. As they sought to break the shackles of darkness and heal the wounds of the past. Fate denied their quest and thrust them into war. The bridges of hope some dared to build between them were torn asunder. Their dreams were ripped from their hearts with a sword, with a destiny revealed at last. What are you doing here? Koshiro Dono, behind you. The man who died standing in the road is Miroga Hioma of the Koga. He is? I understand. That is why I did not sense him fall. He stayed true to the end. Miroga Hioma, this was all my pleasure. Akeginu Dono, why are you here? Has something gone wrong at the inn? Is she... Is Obero-sama still hiding safely with you? No matter how bad the truth, please tell me! I must know of Obero-sama's fate! Uh, Koshiro Dono... It was the Koga. Kizuragi Saimon appeared at the inn like a flash of lightning. In no time at all, he, he had viciously slaughtered Obero-sama. There is nothing left of her in this world. Not my princess. What now? What am I going to do now? I swore to protect her with my life, and I failed. I failed in my sole obligation. Damn it! Damn it! I hate them! I hate all of them! Every single one of those evil Koga will pay for this with their lives! Koshiro Dono. You must tell me. At the end, when Obero-sama was slain, what were you doing? Tell me! I was bound hand and foot. Tied up like a boar for slaughter, but I was able to free myself. I was overcome with desperation to find you in Tenzin Sama and report what had happened. I didn't think I could evade them well enough to make it here, but somehow I did. 
My princess is dead. I can't bear to hear this. Lucky Kin, you don't know. I fear this is the end. It is. But now I have no regrets, for I can see the path I must follow. Please, close your window now. You must use your hands. Lucky Kin, you don't know. Use your hands and kill me. Kill me. You must kill me. I... I don't know if I can. Please, Koshiro Dono, kill me. seductive voice of a woman. Chikuma Koshiro, all you need to know in moving from this world to the next is that you died in Akagenyu's arms. Obero's hawk must have made its way back to the inn where she stays. We must find them. Kushiro Dono? Kushiro Dono? Kushiro Dono! Kushiro Dono! They killed him! He's dead! Akikinya. Kushiro Dono. They came here just as we expected. Simon. If you hold on to your current guys, you can approach close enough to kill them both. Hmm. <laughs> they killed you, and somehow they did not leave a single mark on your body. Kill Kushiro Dono. Akikinyu, do you see someone? I see a Koga ninja who died standing on his own two feet. This sewer rat and Koshiro must have killed each other in battle. I must take this opportunity to use your body, Hyoma. Please forgive me. His face is shredded like goose meat, but his hair hangs loose, if memory serves. This is a member of the Koga clan known as Miroga Hioma. Akakinyu, 
What are you doing? by staking his body in front of that bridge. I was disgusted by it. Hyuma may have been our enemy, but his skill was great enough to take Koshiro with him into death, and to disrespect that struggle would disrespect everything that Koshiro worked toward in his final moments. You can see, Hyuma didn't fall even in death, which says his heart must have ached deeply for someone. Do you not agree with me on this? Where is Tenzin? Could the same fate have befallen him? <laughs> Tenzin-sama is not dead. It's impossible if you didn't know. Confident in Tenzin's death. Of course I am. I've seen enough death to know it when I see it. That woman is mad with grief. She doesn't know what she's saying. We must destroy them, and now is the time. <sighs> Something is wrong. What is it, Simon Dono? What are you waiting for? People are approaching from the east. It's rather late to be traveling with so many. Father, I assume you have heard that Lady Ofuku has secretly taken her leave for Ise. Is that the reason for your return? I suspect that she will try and force the results between Koga and Iga. I can deploy my men. Do not. As you wish. Down the weapon and identify yourself immediately. Something's wrong. Stay on guard. We don't know if they're friend or foe. We are travelers on our way to Sunpu under the orders of retired Shogun Iyasu, and I demand to know who you are as well. There are many enemies on this road tonight. Wait, what's that? On their way to the Shogun? You dare utter his name? Only an insolent person would toss his name around. That's enough! Tell us who you are! We are Iga, traveling from Subagakure. Iga? What was that? What did she just say? Did you just say that you were Iga? From Subagakure? Enough, man. You may stand down. I hear the truce was nullified by Hattori Hanzo, and your people now fight with the Koga. Is this true? Are you and your traveling companion part of this war? Tell me who you are. I am wet nurse and caregiver to the Shogun's heir, Lord Takachino. My name is Ofuku. I suspect I know who you are. Are your names Oboro and Akaginyu? What do you know of us? I know much more than you might think. Ogun herself made a list of the ten best ninja she had in her clan. 
This register was passed on to retired Shogun Yasu, who in turn passed it on to me. The Iga Ten have been trusted with an important duty. You were chosen especially to serve Lord Takachi. I would like to know, who is this dead man lying in the road? An enemy. He was one of the Koga Ten, and he went by the name of Muroga Hioma. Well done! You slaughtered one of the Koga! Tell me, my eager women, what of your comrades in this? Surely you do not travel this late at night alone. Where are the other eight from Ogun's list? They're dead. We are all that remain. How could that be? The No Hostilities Pact was dissolved only a few days ago. chosen to serve Lord Takachio, which is the first I have heard of this. Can you explain these duties of which you speak? How can you not know? That's impossible. You're saying that you and the Koga have been killing each other, and no one has been informed of a reason for this? Very well. I will explain to you. There are extremely grave consequences resting on the shoulders of your war. Are you certain that leaving Lady Ofuku to her own devices is a wise move? We let her run rampant and unwanted conflict may surface. It will be quite the opposite, I believe. In the interest of preventing further strife, I have decided to leave Lady Ofuku alone. Perhaps you did not know that she was the second wife of Lord Inaba of Sado. One day she discovered that he had a concubine who had borne him a child, and he intended this child to be his heir. While Lord Inaba was away from home, Ofuku invited the concubine and child to move into the estate. Once there, she stabbed them both to death, calmly climbed into her palanquin, and left. The fact is, the more you try to rein this woman in, the angrier she becomes. And at that point, she will cross any bridge to spite you. It is wiser to simply let her be. This way, there will be less trouble for all of us. Are you sure in this plan? Kyo Hachiro, as the fourth Atori, I, Hanzo Masahiro, will guarantee it. Regardless of what conniving tricks Ofuku has up her sleeve, there is no one in the world who can step in between two warring ninja factions and wield any kind of true influence. Do you see now? Is it not the most noble of causes? Oboro, Akaginyu, I would be most honored if you both join me on my trek to Sunpu. In fact, given the dangerous circumstances, I must insist upon it. These are the only two left. For the sake of Lord Takachio, I cannot let these two perish. Ladies, what do you say? I promise the journey will be a worthy one for both of you. The no hostilities pact that has bound our people for so long has been nullified. However, I do not intend to resume this fight because I see no purpose behind it. Why should I kill in the name of something I do not believe nor see? Questions such as this have compelled me to travel to Sunpu and ask retired Shogun Iyasu and Hattori Dono for guidance in these matters. We will go to Sunpu. A wise decision. Obara-sama, we cannot run with our tails between our legs and let the Koga win. Of course not. I will oversee their demise. Also, I will ensure the two of you stay alive. The woman is right. Getting Oboro-sama to Sunpu as quickly and as safely as possible should take priority. As for myself, I have other plans. If we go to Sunpu, 
I can have an audience with the retired Shogun and Hattori-sama. Then, even if I must sacrifice my own life, I will make sure the No Hostilities Pact is reinstated. I would have never thought the end of the No Hostilities Pact was an effort to determine the next Shogun. I don't know whether to be intrigued or offended. I see. Finally, I understand. darkness closing in from all sides. A woman waits patiently at Umurobashi on the Takedo Road. Stoking the raging fire within her breast are vengeful thoughts. Compassion grows in the faces of those we see and those we do not. But humanity is most potent in the eyes of one's foe. On the next Basilisk, River of Mercy.